The man who was making that happen is David Mizell. His last job, David was running Marvel, Marvel Studios and produced movies like Iron Man. He's currently serving as a special advisor at Rovio, and he joins us here at the Variety Venture Capital Summit. David, good of you to join us. Good to be here, thanks. So in the last job, you were bringing those big superhero characters to the big screen. Then you find out that your mom, 85 years old, loves the Angry Birds. She shows them to you on the iPad, and, uh, and you get an idea. Exactly, exactly. As you know, we sold Marvel to Disney last year. And soon afterwards, I saw my 85-year-old mother Maria playing this game. And she was addicted to something that I'd never seen her do before. And the more I looked into it, the more I realized, from a serious note, how many ingredients this game had for a potentially great film. And parallel to that, how good the business of Rovio actually was. And with that, it was very easy to make a quick phone call to my friends at Excel Partners, who had just closed a financing round and ended up going to Helsinki to meet with the guys. Yeah, and we spoke to Rich Wong earlier in the show. Um, what about the process of bringing the Angry Birds to the big screen? Is it an easy process? Has it been easy so far? You know, it, it's ne it, we're just starting on the, on the real process of turning this into a film. It's never easy with a movie when it's in development. But what's key is when you look at intellectual property and brands, before it was Iron Man and, and, and Hulk and Thor and properties like that that have decades and decades of stories. And so we had a great treasure chest to deal with when we were at Marvel. Here, there's less, less of a mythology, but there's all these other ingredients that, frankly, I haven't seen in any intellectual property before. You know, one, there's so many users. There's over 250 million people that have already downloaded this game. And for each of those people, there's a couple other people for sure that are playing the game as well. So there's people all around the world that are playing this, and they're playing it every day or 24-7 access to it and huge emotional attachment. And there are different versions of this game. There's the Angry Birds right. Rio edition. And I spoke to the Fox executive who made that happen not too long ago. This is someone who got on a plane, went to Helsinki, and said, please, let's try and work out a deal. It's not as if the Rovio guys are coming to Hollywood. You did the same thing. You contacted exactly. them, and that's how you ended up in this role, right? That's right. That's right. You know, when you see something that's this special and this unique, it's very rare in Hollywood. And when you really understand what's driving the success of these movies, and you see not just the numbers I talked about, but the fact that it's broad demographics, as evidenced by my mom playing the game, and different, all different types of people who fall in love with this thing, and globally. Every, it's not an American thing. It's not a Finnish thing. It's really something that's working all over the, the globe. Those are unique, unique assets. And when you see them, you really have to jump. In the case of Marvel, Things worked out really well. Financially, they worked out really well for you because the business was sold to Disney, a company where you had spent some time. What is the end game, do you think, with Rovio? Would you like to see, for example, Disney buy Rovio? You know, right now we're having so much fun building this company. And I'm just joining the team that's been there now, and everyone is so excited every day to make these games better and better, to expand the games, to enter into licensing but and merchandising. But you have to be thinking about <laughs> what happens. You know, IPO, sell, has there been interest? Are there media companies that have said, can we buy Rovio? You know, at this point, that's something that we obviously wouldn't comment on. But what I can say is, with the team that we have in place, we're able to build the business and think about every opportunity to make the company as valuable as possible, everything else will then fall into place. And right now, with, with the love of this game and, and the growth that's happening, frankly, every day and week by week, it's amazing new data that's coming in that lets us figure out what can we do with this company going forward. Very quickly before we go, mm -hmm. in your past life, you were a Hollywood agent. Are the Hollywood agencies struggling right now because there's this focus on bigger movies, which means there's actually not as many roles for the big celebrities? You know, it, it, there's, there's good and bad things to that. What's nice about these big films is they become franchises. And the actors that get involved with them end up having a lot of sequels and have it sort of a series of films that they're involved with. And those films do quite well. So no matter how the economic model is, whether it's uh, a guaranteed gross position or whether it's a profit position, normally everyone seems to do pretty well. So I think it, it, ri it raises the, the water level for everybody. All right. David, thanks for sharing your story with us here on Bloomberg West. My pleasure. David Mizell, special advisor at Rovio. Up